time to think. What do you see in the pictures below? Write down the difference. We need a house to live in. Our house keeps us safe from heat, cold and rain. It also protects us from thieves and wild animals. A house is a place we all love. Our house is like a heaven on earth. We all rest in our home. We keep our things, money, etc. safely in our house and use them whenever we are in need. Houses in the past. Earlier, houses were made of bricks and wood. The houses had high ceilings which allowed better air circulation. All the rooms had large windows and ventilators. There was a veranda and porch in the front. There were plenty of trees around the house. The kitchen used to be smoky and full of soot because they used cow dung cakes or firewood as fuel. There was no electricity at that time. People used lanterns or oil lamps for lighting. Water was drawn from wells. Some houses had wells or hand pumps of their own. Or there were community wells for a group of houses. There was a cattle in most of the houses. Houses in villages Houses in villages are simple. They are often made of bricks and often have thatched roofs. The houses have many windows and have large courtyards. The huts in villages are made of mud, wood, bamboo leaves and grass. The floors are usually made of clay and are coated with cow dung. Now the scene has changed. Most villages have a regular supply of electricity and water. One can see schools, health centers, pakka roads and many other modern facilities there. This transformation is the result of modern science and technology. The literacy rate has increased over the years. The farmers have built large farmhouses with modern facilities. Many of the kacha houses have been replaced by pakka houses. Houses in cities Houses in the cities are made with long-lasting materials such as bricks, cement and steel. The roofs are made of concrete and asbestos sheets. The floors are made of tiles, marble or are made of mosaic. Multi-storied buildings in very big cities, we see tall buildings. They are multi-storied buildings, which have a large number of houses called apartments. Some very high buildings are called skyscrapers, slums. Unfortunately, there is a section of our society that is almost homeless. These people are mostly poor laborers who come from villages to work in cities. The houses in the slums are made of bricks, mud, tin sheets and plastic sheets. Since they are unauthorized colonies, they do not have water or electricity supply. They use a common washroom built by the local government. These slums are breeding grounds for rats and mosquitoes. Since people live in such unhygienic conditions, they are prone to various diseases. The government is trying to provide low-cost housing with basic facilities for slum dwellers. Residential Colonies Sometimes, houses are built together to form a colony. The houses in the colony have a common boundary wall. The houses may have two or three stories. People prefer to stay in these colonies because they feel safe there.